He's ready for the camera. This he one. wasn't shy. He took a dump right in front of us. Oh, congrats. <laughs> This is my sister Sihan, and we are singing duo Pharaoh, and we are in Nairobi, Kenya, shooting our music video. Originally, we really wanted to do it in Somalia, but it's not really accepted, us being females and us trying to shoot a music video in our country. So I guess Kenya was the next best option, because after the war, a lot of Somali people came to Kenya to escape persecution and stuff. So there's a huge Somali community here in Kenya. I got all that you want, you better take a pick, cause if you blink, I'll be gone. We're part of a project called Studio Africa, bringing a new generation of creative Africans. I feel like we're a new generation of females from our country who are really aspiring to follow our dreams and, and, and do what we've always wanted. The overall message of the song is just kind of like, you know, just breaking out and then wanting to be heard. I guess we're just speaking for the females that don't have a voice anywhere in the world. I like it. We're going to place fire on the bus on top of the roof and we're going to have uh, Somalian dancers dancing with the girls while they're singing. We want to highlight um, a specific uh, dance called the Niko, something that um, we do in our culture like in weddings and celebrations and usually in just like a women only setting. I feel like music is universal and it speaks to so many different kinds of people. And for us, it's important for us to showcase our culture and show people that they don't have to think of Somalia in one way. The opening scene is actually the only scene which is story-based. It's supposed to be Pharaoh when they are small in the 90s. So we've got like two six-year-old girls here. This is um, Katra. She will be playing Siham. And uh, this is Hiva. She's she's little me. Hiva! <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely sisters. Oh my gosh, Siham! Our dad was very supportive at first, but he realized that we were passionate about it and that it wasn't just a ha like a hobby for us. And it was something that we were serious about. There's a lot of girls that email us and say, you know, my family would disown me if I wanted to be a model or something. I'm like, you don't know that. You just have to talk to them and be like, this is what I want to do. And eventually they'll come around. So we're in Hashima. In Kenya, this is an amazing organization that takes in women and girls who are um, you know, mainly refugees. Giving them um, the education confidence. and vocational training and teaching them skills that they can take out into the real world. We heard about this organization that was doing incredible work. So it's just amazing that we actually got to come here and meet everybody. You will never be forgotten. I will always remember. We advocate for people who do this kind of work all the time. It's our purpose, it's our driving force, and coming from Somalia is just something that we have to do within ourselves. It's in our spirit. Yeah. It's just the, what drives our creativity and, and why we make music to begin with. The entire Studio Africa project is about a new generation that's kind of like taking over Africa and changing the perception of Africa and what it's about. Just great, just to be a part of it. Cotton candy, sweet low, knocking down your mama dough, banging on your radio.